think it's on. Dun, 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 dun. What's up, guys? So for a while now, I've been wanting to do a little review about my Harley and how about I came to it and why and what and where and when and so on and so forth. And uh, kind of give a little background and maybe help somebody that's looking for one. Give them a little info. Got a 99 problems and a bitch ain't one. So the first things I like to cover is a little background story. I rode a bunch of metric bikes, as you would call them. And my first Harley I ever bought was a Sportster. It was 2013, it was one of the irons. And I transitioned from a CB1000 to an 883. It was a big transition for me. Um, it was really slow, I need something a little bit faster. When I was looking for a new bike, I didn't really think about Harley. I actually wanted a Honda Shadow Phantom or like a Yamaha Bolt um, or a Victory High 8 Ball, I believe that's what they're called. The reason being is that I don't, I'm not a big chrome person and uh, I didn't know that Harley actually started making like their uh, denim black motors and like the less chrome on them and stuff. So I'd, whenever I went to Harley, and saw these bikes, I instantly fell in love with them. First thing I'd like to cover is the engine on this thing. It's 103 cubic inches. It's, it's like 16 and some change. It's almost 1700 cc's pretty much. Um, the one thing that really turned me on to this motor was when I was doing reviews about it, Honda still does uh, adjustments on their valves, or from what I know, on the Shadow Phantom, it was like a 2012. This one doesn't require it. It has self-adjusting uh, valves on it. So mine came equipped with the Vance and Heinz exhaust. Uh, I love these pipes on them. They're really loud. Um, I will have to say, if you do end up buying these things, uh, they're really not that bad to clean but you have to kind of be careful because it'll scratch really easily another thing to cover too is the bars so these are LA chopper bourbon bars I bought so I like these bars because they're an inch and a quarter they're thicker in the center and they're thinner where the controls are it's a look cool look to them I like them uh, these are 14s I ended up wanting to go with something a little bit taller Unfortunately, I really wish they made bars that are 13s. But, the good thing about this bike though is, whenever you do bars on it, it's actually pretty simple to do them. Instead of actually cutting and splicing all the uh, electronics in it, on this model they made the connectors really small. So there's no need to cut and splice. You just disconnect, run them through, and reconnect them. Which I thought was a really cool little touch. So, Mm. So the next thing that I wanted to cover is the sissy bar. I wanted something that was tall and functional. <clears throat> I really couldn't find anything online that was tall. I found a bunch of shorter ones with pads on them. There was one that I found on like Revzilla or JP Cycles. And uh, it was called like an Attitude Satin Black one. Um, on it it said for show purposes only. Uh, I didn't really like it. So I ended up just going to get 5H round bar, bending it, and I bought these brackets from a swap meet for like 15 bucks, and just welded it on. So unfortunately, it's not a detachable one, but it is what it is. So if you look here, I don't know if you're able to see it. You have a gear and RPM reader. So it gives you the RPM and what gear you're in. <clears throat> also another little nice touch. Just like on the other side of the motor, the other side of the engines, all basically kind of like this Rhino liner that they put on it. I love it. I think it looks good. I don't like chrome, so definitely a great look and feel to the bike.
Well, I hope you enjoyed the review. If you have any questions about it, comment below and I can try to answer them. Um, I will say, if you are going from a metric bike and you're trying to do the crossover, um, come to the dark side. But there is a lot that you need, or uh, 2,000 years later. So I hope you guys really enjoyed the review. Um, the bad things about owning a Harley is the spokes on them will rust. Um, going from a metric to a Harley, you'll notice a bunch of different things, especially motor and transmission wise. Um, but besides that, it's a great bike. And for being in the Dyna family, this is one of the cheaper ones. If I were you and you wanted to buy the Street Bub, I would definitely like shop around. Me, I fell in love with this bike and I bought it off the showroom floor. So don't make the same mistake. Because then you'll end up with payments for years. <laughs>